Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. So it's September, and you know what that means. The new iOS 11 is here. And it is gorgeous, and it is very rich. There's so many features. Yes. So we're going to cover it in a series of short topic videos. Um, today's is on the bold look, new look, and the control panel. And so, you know, watch this one and look out for our other videos. And also, da 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 da. We did get an Apple Watch Series 3, and Barb's is still being delivered <laughs> Barb's today. Barb's still being delivered. <laughs> um, so we will have this video up soon. I'm so excited. Cellular connection. And um, so look for that video, too. So today we're going to look at the interface. Let's take a look. So now we have our uh, iPhone up, and you can see with 11, it is just bolder and cleaner and clearer. Um, it's something you can really put your finger on. If you start looking at the different icons, like if I look at the calculator, oh yeah, that's been simplified. It's a little bit cleaner and bolder, but it's just an overall general boldness and um, brighter and sophisticated. Right. So, um, and it's really easy with iOS 11 to tell where you are on your device, which I think is really helpful for people. For example, if I go into the Messages app, you can see right away at the top it says Messages. And right below that is your search bar. So it's very clear, hey, I'm in Messages, right. and you can re easily search. If I go, uh, for example, another example, if I go into Mail, right away it says I'm in Mailboxes. If I tap down a little bit, if I go into Inboxes, you can see I'm in my inbox, and there's my search bar. That's right. And if I go to the trash, let's say, well, there you are. You can see you're at the trash. So I thought that was a really nice feature. Um, if I go into the Photos app, you can see, if I go to Shared, you can see right away I'm at Shared. Right. If I tap an activity, I'm in activity. It's a lot clearer. Yeah, it's very clear. And if I'm at All Albums, you know, it says albums. Right. It's so it's very, very nice. It's nice. And another handy feature is the new keyboard. Yes. Um, the keyboard got a not a, a new keyboard, a new no. feature. New feature. The yeah. keyboard the keyboard got a nice overhaul in um, <clears throat> iOS 11. So I'm gonna we're gonna go into the Notes app where yep. we're gonna be working with type. And you know, on the iPhone, a lot of us are one-handed uh, yeah, drinking texters, coffee drinking, or drinking coffee else. with one hand, and you're typing with your thumb. And it's a bit of a reach, especially me, I have a, a, plus. a plus. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the world. And you'll notice at the bottom right now, there are two other keyboard icons. Mm -hmm. So if I'm right-handed, I'm gonna pick the one on the right and it's gonna squish all the keys over to the right where they're easy for me to reach. With one thumb. Yeah, with when one thumb. When you can't do two-handed That's right. texting. <laughs> That's right. Now you'll notice on the left side of this keyboard, there's a, yeah. a white arrowhead. If I tap that, I go back to the full keyboard. Sure. So another um, nice thing in here is, uh, well, then I could go to the left. I'll just yep. show you. It switches to the left. Yeah. Um, you can also go right to the keyboard settings. You can, and I was going to show that at the end, but I'll show oh, it I'm now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll show <laughs> it now. You could go right to the keyboard settings where you can decide on a number of keyboard yeah, things. Right. But the new one is the one-handed keyboard. You could turn it on permanently. So if you always okay. liked it to be on... You could turn it on, and then the keyboard, I'm going to go back to notes, is always going to be where you want it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, another thing that got a little bit of a rework, or got a, a pretty good rework in here, is the dictaphone, the, the microphone. Yeah. So if I tap on the microphone, it brings up a whole new panel for the microphone. And when you pause, you're still in the microphone. So if you do a lot of dictation of longer documents and you're stopping and starting, mm -hmm. it's kind of clear where you are. It doesn't kick you out of the microphone right away. Back to the keyboard, right. You can stay and then you can tap again and you're typing again or you're you know, dictating again, stop it. And then to go back to the keyboard, you just tap on the keyboard. Right. That's great. Another um, new feature uh, with the general look and feel of iOS is the control panel. Which you can finally customize. Yay, and make it the way you want. Um, so to access the control panel center, I always call it the control I know, panel. I know, me too. Um, but you uh, swipe up from the bottom and it brings it up. One thing to note on the iPad, which got a major fun revamp with iOS 11, um, accessing the control panel and dock is a little bit different. So be sure to watch our video on the iPad new features, because it's pretty fun. Right. But um, here you can see the control panel center, <laughs> the control center, looks um, very nice and clean and simplified. It's all on one page now, everything is there. Um, everything has its own little box, it's separated, and it makes sense. 
Uh, one thing to note uh, with everything being on one page is you're not seeing all of the features of each area. For example, if I tap on music, tap and hold, bring it up, and use a little force touch, you can see I can do lots of things with the music that weren't showing in this view. And similarly over here with the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, if I tap and hold, now if I brings up the full panel, right. and we can see that it has AirDrop and Personal Hotspot. Right. And um, something with iOS 11 to note is um, the Wi-Fi, these type of things, um, if you tap them off, it's not really turning off Wi-Fi anymore. It's just disconnecting you from any Wi-Fi connections or any Bluetooth connections if I turn that off. Right. Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or any of these will still be running in the background. And they did this because a lot of um, apps and different things use the technology of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or things like that um, in an indirect way. Right. So they left that running. For example, your Apple Watch, like my brand new Apple Watch Series 3. <laughs> <laughs> Where is right. mine, UPS? <laughs> so if you are on an airplane, make sure to do airplane mode up here because that will turn it off completely. Right. Or you can go into the settings if you didn't want to turn yeah. everything off and right. just turn off Wi-Fi. For yeah, because some people you know, claim security risk having these um, technologies running in the background, but we're not concerned about that right now. No, we're not. Yeah. So the control panel is really beautiful. Um, and you notice like here, the dimming, I love this. If you tap, you can dim it right here or you can tap and bring it big so you can control yeah. it a lot it's, better. It's very fluid. It yeah, is, the volume works like that too. Yeah, I like it. Fun to do. Right. The volume's not gonna change right now. What the heck is yeah, the it's volume gonna, doing? <laughs> I'm not gonna look at the volume because it's having a little bug. But um, I think the control panel is just beautiful and it makes sense. And you can customize it now. So if you go into your settings app, which is the gear icon, and you tap on that, oops, I'm gonna go back, get up back out here to general, to um, the main settings area. If I go to control center, I'm going to yeah, tap on that. It's its own thing there. Yeah. It's its own thing. It's, for a while, it's had that. Yeah. But new, what's new is the customized controls. Right. If I tap on that, you can see here are the four things that it comes with added to that. And then you can see all these different ones you can add in if you want. Right. And one that I see that is particularly of interest to me is the alarm. Because I often use the alarm in my phone, you know, maybe for my secret afternoon naps, I'm not saying. <laughs> but um, before I had to go into the timer and then go at the bottom and pick alarm. Right. So now I can just add, tap on the green plus, and look, it added it to my control center. So now right. it will be its own access point. Similarly, if I wanted to get rid of something, I would just tap the red circle with the minus. And I can move them around with the three bar icon. If I press and hold over the icon, you can move things around. Now, of course, you have to go out to the control panel, control center, to see yeah. how it moved things around, right? <laughs> right? But you can see right there is my new alarm direct connect to my alarm app um, that I've added to my control center. Right. So you can really customize the control center. And, um, you know, the whole iOS 11 just looks beautiful and it's so easy to use. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.